Well, you know what they say. All those emo kids have way too much hair across their face. Hey, what's going on, guys? Sandy here, and welcome back to some more Pixel My Not Dudes. As you know, this coming up Thursday in uh, two days, today's Tuesday, Wednesday, two, two days. <laughs> Math is hard. We will be fighting in the gym to protect our honor of Team Valor. <laughs> and I've done this episode a little bit different. Typically what I do in these episodes is I'll go to wherever to catch the Pokemon on camera. But I wanted to do this a little bit different. As you guys know, I like to build all of my Pokemon uh, on, on paper. I'm freaking weird, don't judge me. So what I've done, in between episodes, I've caught the three Pokemon that you guys suggested for me to catch to bring to the battle. And I've already given them the abilities that I want them to have. I'll show you that in a little bit. Right, so the three Pokemon that we're going to be bringing to this battle... We have the Heracross, which uh, one of you guys suggested, and I have a build for him that uh, that kind of works together with my other Pokemon, the Gardevoir. <laughs> now, I kind of messed up in my last video. I said the Gardevoir stats kind of suck, and good lord, you dudes called me an idiot. <laughs> Apparently, you guys love the Gardevoir. Is that how you pronounce that? I don't freaking know. We'll call him Gardy. <laughs> this dude here, right? Uh, the, is, okay. My, my game almost cra- Gardevoir, can you stop crashing my game? <laughs> okay. So, this is our Pokemon. Apparently, she- Is it a she- I, Are you a- Are you a she? What the freak is this episode? So again, we have the Heracross, the Gardevoir, which my Gardevoir is level 72. I need to get this one more level before I can get the last ability I need for this. And then we have the Torterra, which again, I have a specific build for all of these. And that's what I want to do this episode. I want to test out all of these builds to see if they work as I'm hoping. And I know, yeah, right here. I know, uh, Craner told me that Kian added in new, uh, some more, uh, trainers. Yeah, one there, one there, and I believe one, yeah, one right here. This is, uh, Captain Benny. <laughs> so let's test these builds out. Actually, real quick, I want to show you something. <laughs> like I said, in between episodes, I was catching all the Pokemon to get the, the specific nature I was looking for. And uh, while I was doing that, the nature, two of the Pokemon that I caught have good natures, like my uh, Heracross. It has Adamant, which gives it plus attack and minus special attack, which I don't care about. But check this out. Look how small he is. <laughs> He is so cute. And then my Torterra, which has good stats. They're okay stats. I couldn't get anything good. It has special defense plus and minus speed. I couldn't get anything better than that, but look at this thing. <laughs> they are so teeny. And then my Gardevoir, like you, like you already saw, he's normal size, but uh, yes. <laughs> They're so teeny. Okay, let's go back over here on the shirtless dude. Let's test out our Torterra abilities. All right, you shirtless freak. I'm, I'm going to stay up here just so you don't freaking touch me. <laughs> okay, let's do our Torterra. Uh, okay, so we're going to get some Blastoise. Now, here's how this skill set works. We have Leech Seed, which what this does, whenever I use it on them, it, it works until they either die or they switch out. And what it does is it hits them for an eighth of their health and heals me. And then we also have Giga Drain, which damages them and also heals me. And we also have Synthesis, which heals me for half of my health. <laughs> so this Torterra not only is extremely tanky, but constantly heals himself. And we also have Crunch here, which I know Crunch is kind of random, but if you guys remember... Uh, Captain Sparkles has the flower forest biome, which means he's most likely gonna get a, a Celebi. Which, uh, the Crunch, which is dark, 
uh, is super effective against the Celebi, so that's why he has Crunch. But so here's what here's what my plan is with the Torterra. We're gonna throw out Leech Seed. Okay, he did damage to me. Leech Seed. Okay, I planted seeds. Now watch this. It does damage to him and heals me. And now check this out. Whenever I use Giga Drain, he damages me. I use Giga Drain and heal myself, and then my Leech Seeds also heal me. <laughs> And then if he ever gets me too low, I can use Synthesis to fully heal myself. Okay, let's use Crunch. This should kill him. Okay, Leech Seed, Leech Seed killed him and healed us. Okay, Typhlo- Oh, Typhlosion counters me. Oh, no. Let's use- ah, He might kill me! Yeah, let's switch out to my Snorlax just so he doesn't kill me. I want to keep testing this strategy. Okay, let's uh, body slam. Goodbye, Typhlosion. Get 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 out of here. <laughs> One more body slam, and wrecked. Okay. So, ooh, a Charizard. Giga Impact, get out of my face. <laughs> okay. Ooh, a Swampert. Okay, we counter Swampert with uh with my Torterra. Okay, let's send out Torterra. He did some damage. That's fine. Let's use synthesis to heal ourselves up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now what we're gonna do? Let's do synthesis again. There we go. And now let's do leech seed. I avoided the attack. I planted the seeds. Now I'm gonna damage him and heal myself every single time. And then let's do Giga Drain. Damage them and heal me. <laughs> Okay, a Furligator. We counter him also. Okay, let's do Leech Seed. There we go. We planted the seed. <laughs> let's do Giga Drain. <laughs> we are constantly at full health. Look at this. And an Empoleon. Oh, we counter the Empoleon too. Let's do Leech Seed. Okay, there we go. We did Leech Seed, so we're gonna keep healing ourselves. Let's do Giga Drain to heal ourselves even more. We did damage to him and healed ourselves. Did damage to him again with Leech Seed and healed ourselves. <laughs> oh, he did good damage. Okay, we have to use Synthesis. No, he killed me! Oh, dang it. Alright, you freaking Empoleon jerk. Get freaking Giga Impacted. Get out of here. Wait, is he. That did nothing! Okay, there we go. Empoleon down. I think we won. There we go. We, we beat the- This guy needs a shirt guy. <laughs> Dude, so that's my strategy for the Torterra. We're gonna be healing a crap ton. Actually, yeah, real quick before I show you this next strategy, I need to get my Gardevoir to level- I, I don't even know if- Am I pronouncing that right? But <laughs> please- Guardy. <laughs> please don't flame me. Um, I need to get him to level 73, so let's put- Maybe he can just do- yeah, we have a lucky egg on him. Let's fight, uh, this dude, Bobby the Dab Master. Let's fight him with our Gardevoir, just to get an EXP. So, let's do Psychic- let's just Psychic everything down, just so I can get this last move. Okay, there we go. Gar Guardy just got level 73. Uh, hold on, wait. D okay, here it is. This is the last move I need called, uh, Dream Eater. So let's replace- I want to keep Magical Leaf, and the reason why Magical Leaf, uh, is- is a grass attack, which is good against water-type Pokemon. And as you guys know, Craner's biome is ocean. So, you can only guess he's bringing water-type Pokemon, so let's- let's hang on to Magical Leaf, and let's get rid of- Psychic is really good. But I want Healing Wish- and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, let's get rid of Psychic. Okay. And if, if if you guys think I should keep Psychic, I can always go back to the Move Relearner and teach them that. But I think this current build is good. So check this out. What I'm going to do, let me switch to my Heracross. So here's how this works. It's a, it's a two Pokemon combo. So check this out. I have a Heracross, which I have close combat on this Heracross. So what Close Combat does, it does a crap ton of damage, but it also lowers my defense and special defense, so they do more damage to me, right? So if I do Close Combat, there we go, he's gonna hit me for a crap ton of damage, maybe. Yeah, uh, he didn't. <laughs> Don't embarrass me in front of my friend, you Volcarana. Okay, let's do this again, Close Combat. 
Oh, he just killed me. Dang it. Hold on. Let me run. Let me run. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. So I have my hair across out. Now, like I said, I could do close combat for a crap ton of damage. We also have this move here, Mega Horn, which is a bug type, which does four times damage versus a Celebi. So we're going to keep that. But here's the main combo. Like I said, we have close combat. We also have this move here, Endure, which if you remember, when I use this, it makes it to where the Heracross won't go below one hit point. And check this out. We also have a move called Reversal. If my hit points are below 4%, this move does 200 power. <laughs> so I could combo Endure with reversal but that's not all my guardy can do one more thing let's see if this works so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna test this let's spam endure right okay come on swamper do damage to me endure you know what i'm gonna cut close combat you swamper if you don't want to do damage get one shot okay now we have a blaziken okay let's do mega horn okay do damage to me get can you please do damage to me? D okay, there we go. He did damage to me. Let's keep... Just keep attacking. Once I get low enough, we'll do the combo. We are just destroying all of these. <laughs> okay, a Weevil. Uh, Mega Horn. <laughs> this Heracross is one-shotting everything. Okay, Magmar. Um, um, Mega Horn. Our hair across hits like a small country. <laughs> okay. Um, Mega Horn. Okay, he avoided it. Okay, he did damage to me. Now let's do Endure. Would you... Okay, I need you to one-shot me. Let's do Reversal. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, I need you to one-shot me. P please. Okay, it might finally work here. So if you look at my hit points, if I do Endure... Revenge? Okay, so we're at 13 health. If he would have one-shot me, it would have saved my life and got me down to one hit point, right? And I'd still be alive. So what I could do, since I'm below 4% hit points, I could do reversal and watch how much damage this does. <laughs> it one-shot him, but that's not all. Check this out. Since I've... Hold on, let's do endure. Let's do endure so I don't die. Okay. Okay, so I'm at one hit point. Now check this out. If I could, I could use it reversal and one shot him. But here's the combo. If I go to Pokemon, go to my Gardevoir, right? So I'm, I'm on my Gardevoir now. Since my Gardevoir's on, I could do my other combo, which is I could hypnosis them. Hold on, put him to sleep. Now, now the Blazekin is asleep, and then I can use Dream Eater to attack them and heal myself. Watch my health. I just killed them and healed myself with Dream Eater, right? And then let's say my Guardy gets low on health. He's about to die. I could use this move here called Healing Wish. Now check what this does. It kills my Gardevoir once he's low on health. Watch this. It kills my Gardevoir, but that's fine. He's already at low health, remember. And then I could switch out to my Heracross, which watch my Heracross's health. <laughs> Healing Wish resets the Pokemon that I send out to full health and full moves. So I can start all the way back over using my Mega Horn, <laughs> using my Close Combat. <laughs> And then ultimately using my Endure and Reversal combo. <laughs> and there we go. We just took down Bobby the, da the Dab Master with two Pokemon. <laughs> oh, this strategy is kind of broken, but you dudes know how we do around here. We have to find OP strategies. Right, so what I want to try now, let's go into our PC. Let's put up our OP Pokemon. Uh, so let's put up our Snorlax, our Death Killer, <laughs> and our Celebi. 
I want to test out these this strategy, these three Pokemon on Benry's twin. <laughs> I know this is probably going to be general suicide, but let's see how we fare up against Benry's twin. Hey, hello, friend. Teenager Benry's twin. So I guess let's start with our Torterra. Just so we can, yeah, yeah, let's do our, let's, let's start with our Torterra. Okay, Fla oh, good lord, a Flareon. Uh, level 113? This thing is my counter. Oh, uh, look, at least it. <laughs> we got one shot. Okay, let's send out our Heracross. Okay, let's do Endure. Okay, it one shot us, that's fine. Now let's do Reversal. We only took off half of his health. <laughs> I mean, it's over double my... Alright, let's set our guard of war. Let's do the hypnosis. Go to sleep. No, you're just gonna you're gonna pretty much one shot me. Go go to sleep. I'll go sit in my corner. So Benry's twin wants to embarrass me in front of my friends. Let's take our anger out on Benry. <laughs> Hello, Benry. Okay, let's send out Torterra. Okay, we're against the Lapras. I believe we counter him. So let's let's do Leech Seat. I I fell asleep. The Lapras just put me to sleep. Leech Seed. Okay, he used Growl. Wake up Torterra. Leech Seed. Okay, he's doing some damage. That's fine. Wake Torterra. Wake the freak up. What do I have to... Water Pulse. Okay, I used Leech Seed. There we go. Now I'm going to start healing myself. Let's do Giga Drain. Okay, I avoided his sink so I didn't fall asleep. And we are almost back to we are back to full hit points. Let's do Giga Train again. There we go. Okay, what's next? Mammoth Swine. We are inside of the Mammoth Swine. <laughs> I can see what you ate, homie. It's kind of gross. Okay, let's use Leech Seed. He, he just He just one shot me. <laughs> Heracross? Okay. Let's do it. Uh, uh, please don't kill me. I know the Mammoth Swine is weak towards fighting attacks. So if we do close combat, please don't kill us. Look at that damage. Is he going to kill us? Okay, he didn't kill it. He killed us. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, let's do uh, the, the, the Magical Leaf. Get freaking wrecked, you stupid Mammoth Swine. Dang it, that combo would have worked too if you didn't one-shot us. Okay, Agron. Let's do Hypnosis. Okay, we put the Agron to sleep. Now let's eat its dreams. Okay, let's eat his dreams again. Okay. Oh, he did good damage. Put him back to sleep. Okay, he's back to sleep. Dream Eater. Yes! Okay, we could do this. We're gonna- Oh, a Heracross. Oh, no. The Heracross is weak versus uh, psychic spells or psychic moves. So let's hypnosis. No, he avoided it. Oh, Freaking Ben, were you eat the eat things? Hope your mom doesn't love you. Well, I guess it's time to go back out and level up our Pokemon. <laughs> We just got freaking destroid. <laughs> uh, that, that's kind of sad. But uh, anyways, dudes, for now, I'm going to end this here. If you guys have enjoyed this style of video where I catch the Pokemon that I need for the battle and then show you the strategy, let me know. Either hit that like button down below or uh, t tell me to continue doing this. If you don't like it, just let me know. D but don't spam the dislike button. Be nice to me. I'm a sensitive little girl. <laughs> Also, if you add on new to my 